It's Olivia from Girly Bunches and in this week's video I'm going to be showing you how to do this really pretty crochet flower. As you can see it comes up nice and big and that depends on the kind of yarn you're using and this is double knit yarn which is what I usually use um, just so that I can show you in these video tutorials. Um, it's all crocheted as one piece nice. and um, yeah just because I've done it all in one piece and one colour doesn't stop you from being able to do different rounds in different colours so I just did it in one colour on this occasion but I can talk that talk that through with you in the tutorial about how to change colours and uh, yeah let's uh, get on and show you how to make this lovely flower okay so for this video I'm just using some double knit yarn and to go with that is a four mil hook um, obviously you use the right size hook for the yarn that you're using bearing in mind that if you use a lighter weight yarn with a smaller hook your flower is going to come out smaller so, to start off with we're going to do a magic loop so that's wrap the yarn around your finger twice like that you put the hook underneath the two loops on your finger and the loop that is nearest your knuckle you need to pull underneath that first loop which is nearest your fingertip just do a little slip stitch to secure that and you can take that off your finger and now you can start working into your magic loop so I'm now going to do three chains and that's going to replace my first treble so you may know that as a double crochet but I'm British so I use British terminology and to me that's a treble so I'm now going to do 15 more trebles into the magic loop to give me a total of 16 and that is our first round and I will come back when I have done all 16 into the magic loop and there you go, there's my last treble there I'm just going to double check that is my last treble <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9, 10, 11, 12, 16 Okay, so now I'm just going to pull my tail there and that pulls up that middle loop there to make that nice and tight and then I'm just going to do a slip stitch into the top of that third chain that I did at the start of the round to finish off my first round. So just pull that tail up nice and tight and that makes that centrepiece just right. Okay, so now we're going to start working on the first round of petals. So, to get our petals what we need to do is we need to make some chain loops for them to be worked into so I'm going to chain one into that same stitch I'm going to do a double you may know that as a single and then I'm going to chain two and I'm going to skip the next treble along and into the second one I'm just going to do a double so I've got two chain space there. So now I'm going to chain two, I'm going to repeat that, I'm going to skip that treble and work a double into the top of the next one along. And I'm going to do that all the way around so that I end up with eight two chain spaces. So I'm just about to do my last two chain space, I just want to check that I've got the right number of spaces all the way around. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and then this last two chains will make my eighth one and I'm just going to slip stitch into that that double crochet that we did at the beginning of that round okay so if it curls up that's fine don't worry okay so now into that two chain space we're going to do a double crochet and I'm going to do four trebles one two, three, four and then I'm just going to do one more double crochet into that same two chain space mm. I'm getting caught up here there we go okay so into every two chain space I'm going to do a double four trebles and a double so I'm just going to repeat that into that next one along so that's a double one two three four trebles and then 
one double. So if you're running out of space, just sort of squish them up a bit, make room for them. But you want that nice full petal look. You don't want it to be skimpy. You want to have a nice petal shape. Okay, so you're going to continue doing that in all of these two chain spaces all the way around and I'm going to come back when I get back to here. Okay, so I'm just going to be doing my last petal now. So that's one double, four trebles and a double again. Okay, so that's our first round of petals done. And what we need to do now is we need to make some more chain spaces to work the next round of petals into. So we haven't finished off here. Um, we haven't sort of done a slip stitch like you might expect. So you can do that if you wanted to change colour. So if you want to change colour, this would be where you do like a little slip stitch. That's optional, it doesn't matter. Just do that slip stitch and then that finishes that round. But if you're going to continue in the same colour, this is where you're going to do something a little bit different to what you've probably normally done before because we're, we're used to working into spaces or into the top of stitches. But to do this flower, you need to work in to the back of the trebles that you've been making. So I've just put my hook through a loop there. OK, so you can't see on this side where the hook has gone through. You can only see it on the back. I hope you can see that. Now, I'll take the hook out. And I'll take the hook out of here. Just turn it around. So these are the back of the stitches. So you can see that each stitch has a loop in which you can put the hook through. So you don't want to put the hook all the way through like that. You just want it to be through that back loop there, okay? So that's the back of that treble stitch. And we're going to do some slip stitches into the back of those trebles until we're into the middle of our flower petal. <laughs> okay, so there's one there. So I'm just going to do a slip stitch like that and I'm going to do another one to bring me into the middle. Now I've picked up two loops there but that doesn't matter, okay? There's no rules about this. It's about getting it in the right place. So if you need to put do more slip stitches then do that. But if you just need to do a couple like that, just so, so as long as you end up in the middle and you can see there that my loop in the middle of that petal that's where you want to be okay like that so now we're going to chain three this time last time we did two chains this time we're going to do three chains and then you're going to aim for the middle of that petal each time you want to pick up that middle treble and just do a slip stitch like that so I turn it around you can see we've got a chain space going across the back and then we're going to chain three and again we're going to pick up that back loop in the middle of the next petal along so you can't see it on this side you can on this side and then we're just going to do a slip stitch and again three chains and just repeat this process of picking up that middle back stitch of each petal until you've gone all the way around and you've got three, um, eight three chain spaces. If I just turn it around you can see one, two, three so far. You'll go all the way around and then we'll end up with eight. So I'm just going to do my last three chain space here. So that's one, two, three. And I'm just going to slip stitch into that top of that stitch there which is the one that we that slip stitch there which is the one that we first locked down with and started our three chains with three chain spaces so if I just take out my hook and turn that around now you can see now that we have these loops in order to work our next round of petals in which would be this round here so you can see from this one that I've already made where 
that has worked and it's just picking up wherever you can there's no kind of uh, there's no rules really like it's no we're not we're not going through a specific place like we normally would like the top of the stitch or into a chain into a space it's just wherever you can get the hook because so long as it is in the middle you're fine okay so now we're going to do our second round of petals same as before each one will start with a double into that three chain space and then this time instead of doing four trebles we're going to do five so you're just going to increase the number of chains that you do per round and you're going to increase the number of trebles you do in the middle of the petals by one each time so this is one whoops she said easy yeah <laughs> so one two three four five trebles and then finish that off by with a double into that three chain space there you can see I've worked that and then again into the next one we're going to do one double and then five trebles and just going to keep doing that all the way around until we get back to the beginning again that's three four five <clears throat> and finish that off with a double and as you can see now the petals are now behind in that sort of space that we had between these two petals is now filled up with the petal giving us that nice flower shape okay so I'm going to keep going and come back when I get back round to here so I've just finished that round there and as you can see it's starting to take on a really pretty flower shape so um, you can definitely do each round in a different colour this is probably not showing up too well I think it's showing up okay you get the idea okay so again you're just going to start doing your slip stitches into the back of that petal the, the last the first petal that you worked and you're going to work your way across until you are in the middle of the petal and I think that this one will get us into the middle yep and there we go we're in the middle now and that's going to be one two three four chains on this time and again we're just going to do the same thing that we did before and do a slip stitch into the middle of the next petal along into that treble at the back so that you can't see it from the front and you just keep going in that same way and then this round you'll be working six trebles into the middle of your petal um, instead of the five in the previous round and the four from the first round starting off with a double so I'm just going to do my chain spaces that's four chain spaces this time and there we go just going to do a slip stitch into the top of that um, starting stitch there and now I'm ready to start working my petals into that four chain space which will be a double and then six trebles this time three four five six and then a double so I'm going to come back once I have done my round of petals that has one double six trebles one double and I'll come back when I've done that so there we go I've gone all the way around now and done my final round of petals so if you wanted to keep going um, what you would just do is increase your number of chains by one so the next round would be five chains and then you would increase the number of trebles in the middle of your petal so on the next round it would be seven trebles so don't forget to do your doubles at the beginning and then just the, the trebles that are in between so um, as you can see 
it makes a really lovely three-dimensional flower and it's all one piece of yarn so that's quite nice if you've got a lot of these to make and you don't want to sew in lots of ends so I'm just going to fasten this one off with this colour um, so there we go that's my little tutorial on how to do these lovely Irish rose crochet Irish crochet roses <laughs> flowers whatever you want to call them I think they look pretty and yeah definitely doing definitely try doing it round in different colours I think that one look really pretty and uh, yeah I hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you did I would love it if you give me a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed why not hit that subscribe button down there and uh, make me a very happy girly bunches <laughs> and uh, up here is some links to videos that will help you to do this um, tutorial and uh, yeah I'll talk to you and see you in my next video thanks for watching bye Olivia from Gurley Bunches. I am in the car as you can see. I've